games fail. And Sonic is a series that is very familiar with it. That is pretty much fact. Some often debate on whether some Sonic games are good or not, such as Sonic 3D Blast. Many people look at the classics as the perfect age of Sonic, the lawless titles. But of course, we have our, again, Sonic 3D Blast, Sonic Blast, Sonic Drift, Still a pretty great era in Sonic, the ratio definitely favors good as opposed to bad. The first few 3D games still kept that positive vibe, but here's where the term Dark Age comes into play. The infamous Dark Age of Sonic is usually associated with the era starting with Shadow the Hedgehog, and arguably ending with Sonic and the Black Knight. You add your handful of passable titles, you know, Sonic Riders, Sonic Rush, and Unleashed, it's kind of a mixed bag for me, but definitely a highlight in this Dark Age. So why did Sonic go through this phase? Well, that's another debate entirely. Experimentation that bled from the adventure games leaded on to ideas that didn't work, and Sonic's reputation sucked for those years. Sonic 4 Episode 1 kind of broke us out of that depression with its reception, and with the success of Sonic Colors and Generations, you'd think that such a thing wouldn't need to exist. He had it all. Fame, review scores, success. Well, tell that to some of the weirdest games in the series. Sonic 4 Episode 2 and Sonic Lost World. These games are odd, mixed, and aren't the best of Sonic games. Oh, I don't want to sound hypocritical because I haven't played the Wii U version of Lost World, so it's not bad or good from my experience. I'm going strictly by overall reception, which is completely relevant. What hurt the most with Episode 2 is that not only was it the first game after Generations, Sonic's 20th anniversary, it was unfortunately first to not get a positive score. You get all this great feedback from Sonic 4 Episode 1, Sonic Colors, Sonic Generations, to the point that you realize this series is finally on the right track. Like they remembered what makes Sonic good and ran with it. Like. <laughs> It's painful, and every game series goes through it. But man, we had it for a bit. Sonic Lost World seemed promising, but fans and critics will be quick to tell you that it falls short below many other games in the series, especially the 3DS version. And it's good to understand that not every game will be the best. You can't always expect that. There are games for people out there. But for what appears as good and what appears as bad, the aura surrounding these two games isn't looking stellar. And of course, this video wouldn't have been considered if it weren't for the recent spin-off games, Sonic Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric and Sonic Boom Shattered Crystal. I've covered these games since the reveal, and I don't know if I was being too optimistic, but I never would have guessed that they would fail as hard as they did. People compare Rise of Lyric to Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. Sonic Next Gen. People will make crazy claims all the time, but that is like common belief among people that have completed the game. The review scores didn't help the game either, getting even lower scores than Sonic 06. No matter what you think of the games, this is a major blow to Sonic's reputation. And it will go down in history as a failure. And I'm not talking about the TV show. The video games are not helping anything right now. And it upsets me. As a Sonic fan, as a YouTuber, I want to believe that these games will be good, but it looks like we are in another dark age. It's pretty safe to say, I think. I mean, Sonic 4 Episode 2, Sonic Lost World, Sonic Lost World 3DS, Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, Sonic Boom Shattered Crystal, heck, some might even include Transformed, or the 3DS version of Generations, I don't know. Not including handhelds, that's three big titles. And again, some of these aren't bad games from what I hear from friends and some of you in the comments, but I definitely definitely believe Sonic is back in that mold. Critics are now going to expect bad games from now on, and I'm sure people in this fanbase will expect similar results. Too early to say? I don't think so. Will this Dark Age be as bad or as long as the last one? Probably not. The next game might be another SA2 or Generations, which would be amazing. Or it could be another Sonic Lost World or Sonic Boom. We don't know. Sonic has proven that he's vulnerable yet again, and I can only expect the unexpected. And based on how we've been getting these games, I think we all should. This video is clearly my speculation and is not intended to persuade you into not liking the games that I mentioned. I'm seriously hoping for nothing but success from now on. I'm uh, Steven Ux, and I'll definitely communicate, debate, and elaborate with you all later. Okay, that was lame. I apologize.